Everyone loves a good conspiracy theory. For example, the moon landing. Was it real, or was it one giant leap of a hoax? Given that the Catholic Church spans the whole world and has been around for roughly 2,000 years, it makes sense that conspiracy theorists give it suspicious looks. So without further ado, Vatican Conspiracy Theories. The Vatican Secret Archives. These archives contain over 50 miles of shells, and it's called the Secret Archives, so of course there would be conspiracy theories about what's in there. Yes, they contain some legit historical materials like Henry VIII's request for a marriage annulment, but some people think they contain things like a time machine built by a Benedictine monk, documents about what the third secret of Fatima really was, hint, it's about the apocalypse, and the skulls of extraterrestrial beings, which is supposed proof of another conspiracy theory that the Pope is secretly working with aliens to control the minds of humanity by trying to implant computer chips into our brains. Where do people get this stuff? The Know Nothings. The Know Nothings were an American political party active around the 1850s. Their anti-Catholic views were no secret. They were also anti-immigration, which means that the influx of German and Irish immigrants around that time gave the party plenty of targets. The Know Nothings worked to keep Catholics out of political, civil, and various influential positions in American society. They did this because they believed that all Catholics were secretly working to take control of the country, then hand the reins of power over to the Vatican, and otherwise ruin American society in general. The assassination of Pope John Paul I. The predecessor of St. John Paul II had a very short papacy, 33 days, in fact. There have been whispers that the Pope was assassinated. Theorists point the finger at the Freemasons, a certain group of people who wanted to stop the Pope from re-establishing the Tridentine Mass, and of course, The Godfather Part Three suggests it was the Mafia. Rise of Communist Russia. When studying the rise of communism in Russia in history class, your textbooks probably didn't mention the theory that Rome was secretly involved. This theory states that ever since the Great Schism of 1054, the Catholic Church has been wanting payback on the Eastern Orthodox Church. Conspiracy buffs claim that the Vatican decided to enact its plot of revenge in the early 20th century by disposing the Tsar of Russia and bringing Lenin and the Bolsheviks to power. They also attempted to get the Patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church killed. But the Patriarch managed to get his hands on the Tsar's secret stash of treasure, and suddenly the Bolsheviks didn't feel like killing the Patriarch with their pockets full of gold. Jesuit Conspiracy Theories The Society of Jesus has had an interesting history, to say the least. Their global presence have led to some people believe that the Jesuits, under orders from the Vatican, were the secret masterminds behind the Spanish Armada, the Gunpowder Plot of 1605, the Great Fire of London in 1666, and the French Revolution. More recently, conspiracy buffs have added the sinking of the Titanic to that list. The evidence for that is that Ladies and gentlemen, please consider a financial donation to the Society of Jesus to support their efforts. Your money will go to supporting Jesuits as they preach the gospel and care for the least. A monthly donation of $10,000, no, wait, $15,000 $15, is recommended. <clears throat> there you have it. What other Vatican conspiracy theories do you know of? Put it in the comments section. And here's the obligatory request to watch some more videos, subscribe, and follow RCT on Facebook, Twitter, and we also have an Instagram account. Thank you very much.